We will use a 50 pence coin and after plating with copper, this coin should look the same colour as a 1 or 2p coin. This is the equipment we shall be using. First we have a jar containing the mixture of copper sulphate, sulfuric acid and water. This solution is called the electrolyte. The copper to plate the coin will come from a piece of copper water pipe like this, which we have hammered flat like this. The coin to be plated will be held in a crocodile clip and both the coin and the copper pipe will be placed in the electrolyte solution. The coin has been scrubbed really clean as otherwise the plating is likely to fall off. The plating process requires an electrical current to transfer the copper from the pipe, which is known as the anode, to the coin, which is the cathode. We are using a 6 volt battery, but with a series resistance to limit the current, as the process is more successful if done slowly. The coin should begin to show a copper colour quite quickly, but will take some time to build up a suitable thickness so we'll come back from time to time to check the progress. Now I think we can do another cut there. Do you want to zoom in on that? Just zoom. Uh, we're going to plate it for a little longer so that we get copper where the clip was covering the coin. Now we're going to remove the coin and clean it up. This is the finished shot. This is the finished product. The first, the before 50 pence coin and the after 50 pence coin. I'm Eugene Prime. Thanks for watching. Bye.